a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Webster Wordsworth. Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. I think it's time to go, everyone. Put that on the shelf. Off we go. <laughs> It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Hello, I'm Webster Wordsworth, magical musical story maker with stories at my fingertips. Hello. <laughs> Look at the lovely pictures the children have made today. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Can you see the sea? Ah, oh, Jackson, you made a joke. Did I? <laughs> yes, you said, "Can you see the sea?" <laughs> oh, oh, that that's not a joke, Jenny. That's just two kinds of sea. You see, uh, there's the sea you see when you are looking, and there's the sea that sail on. See, see, see. You see? Uh, yeah, I see. Oh, yes. <laughs> hello, you two. Oh, oh, hello, Webster. Can you see over there? I can see the sea. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> well, now, how about a sea song? Oh, yes, please. Now, I'll sing the song and see if you can join in. Okay. Yeah. You ready? Hmm. A sailor went to sea, 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 to see what he could see, see, see. But all that he could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue sea, sea, sea. Have you got that? Um, uh, yes. Uh, mm. Sea, 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 mm -hmm. and sea, sea, sea. <laughs> Jenny? Um, I think so. Mm -hmm. C, 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 and C, C, C. Mm. Now. Right. This time, I'll play my shaggery and you can join in too. Hmm. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three, four. A sailor went to see, 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 to see what he could see, see, see. And all that he could see, 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 could see, see, see was the bottom of the deep blue sea, see, see. see. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny, Webster. <laughs> yes, but I think I got all my seas muddled. Oh, mm. Never mind, Jelly. How's about we make a story? Hmm. Ah, but what shall we use? <laughs> what about one of the children's pictures? Ah, well, how about this one? Well, I think this boat will make a very good sea story. But there's something else we need from you who to make the story machine work. Yeah, your, your, your imagination. imagination. That's right. Hands up and join in with the magic words. Yeah. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Yeah. Oh, it's a blue cow story. And it's called Blue Cow and the Boat. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was looking at a small cloud that looked a bit like an island in the sky. 
I wonder what it would be like to live on an island. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to an island, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for the Isles of Scilly. And then they arrived. Blue Cow was standing on the quay on an island called Tresco. At the end of the quay was a small motorboat with a lady working on the engine, and next to her was a boy looking a bit unhappy. Hello, said Blue Cow. I'm Blue Cow. You look a bit sad. My name's Samson, and our boat's broken down, said the boy. Mum's trying to fix it because we have to get home to the other island over there. Blue Cow looked across the sea to the other little island. It wasn't very far. I've got an idea, Samson, she said. I'll tow you and your boat across the sea. I love swimming. Oh, fantastic, said Samson, putting his life jacket on. Here, have these, said his mum, giving Blue Cow some armbands. Blue Cow wrapped the rope around her and waded out into the sea. Samson and his mum hopped in the boat and they were off. Blue Cow swam and swam, faster and faster and faster. Yippee, this is better than a speedboat. In no time at all, they reached the little island, which was called Briar. Ooh, it's beautiful. Well, come and have a look round, grinned Samson. Samson showed her all his favourite places on the island. A smuggler's cave with a lake in it, a ruined castle where the king once stayed, and an amazing rock in the shape of a giant tooth. This is a lovely place, but I'd better be getting back to my field now. Bye then. Thanks for towing our boat here, Blue Cow. Moo, mm -hmm. it was my special pleasure. You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I towed a boat to an island. Everyone knows that cows can't tow boats. But we know they can, don't we? Oh, I would love to live on an island like that. <laughs> and I'd like to go round in a boat. <laughs> can we play at boats, please, Webster? Yeah. Oh, is that what the water's for, oh, Webster? Oh, well, not for boats, but for floats. Floats? Yes. It's really a kind of experiment. <gasps> oh, I like experiments. Mm. Uh, can I join in, please? Yeah, me too, me oh, too. Oh, of course, my little pumpkin. <laughs> right. What do we have to do, Webster? Well, we have to see which one of these things float and which one sinks. Oh, good. Oh. Well, all the things that float can be mine okay. and all the things that sink can be jellies. All right. Uh, all right. Well, which one shall we try first? Um, uh, oh, the stick, please. <laughs> I, I think the stick will float because, um, because it's a stick. No, no, it will sink. Oh. Sink, sink, sink. Will it float? Will it sink? What do you think? I think it will float. Sink, sink. And it floats! <laughs> That's for me, one for me, right one up. for me. <laughs> oh, oh, you. never mind, Jenny. Now, Jenny. you choose one. Um, the plum. Ah, the plum. Mm. Yes. Now, plum. will it float or will it sink? Sink. What do you think? It Not will sure. sink, I think. <laughs> Oh, it sank. That's one for you, Jelly. Yeah, thank you, Jackson. It's OK. Um, what about the last one, Webster, the ah, muddling clay? Ah, yes. Mm. Now, will it float or will it sink? What do you think? Um, sink, I think. Oh, uh, yeah! It sinks. It sinks. Mm. Oh, I told you, Jackson. But it doesn't always sink, Jelly. <laughs> It all depends on what shape it is. Oh, I see. Ah. Look, look, it looks like a boat. So oh, it oh. floats. <laughs> <laughs> so that one's mine, Webster. No, Thank you. it sank Thank... before, so it's mine. No, 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 Jelly, it floats, so it's mine. Mine, mine, <laughs> mine. No, 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 mine. Now, there is mine. only one way to sort this out. <laughs> Will you help us make a story with this boat? Imagine! Imagine! Imagine.
It's a playbook, ha. and it's called Living on a Canal Boat. My name is Rosie. It's a long walk to my home, especially when we've got lots of shopping. I don't live in a house, I live on a canal boat. It's very long and thin, and it's painted red and blue. Mum carries my sister Holly onto the boat first and puts her in her chair. I put my dolly safely in her chair too. And now it's my turn. Mum lifts me onto the boat so I don't fall into the canal. Here it is. This is my home. Have a look around. Mum builds a fire so it's snug and warm. There's a great view out of the window. I can see right across the canal. Oh, there's someone walking their dog. And my friends the ducks. The water is really close and if the window was any lower I'd even see the fish. I like to imagine that I'm a fish swimming and so does my sister. I can swim into the kitchen. Mum's mm, made my favourite cheese and pickles sandwiches. This is the bathroom. This is where I have a shower, use the loo and brush my teeth. For water to come out of the tap, Mum has to fill a special water tank. My teeth are clean, so it's time for bed. That's Mum and Dad's bed, and I sleep just through here. In my room, there is something very strange. It's the boat's engine. Our boat can go anywhere up and down the canal, but I really like it here. I've got a strange view from my window. All I can see are people's feet as they walk along the path. I like to guess who the feet belong to. Oh, they're not feet, they're paws! And they belong to my friend Rover. More feet pedaling a bike this time. I like living on a boat, especially when I'm snuggled in my bed. Good night. <laughs> there, a big fish. I'd like to see fishes out of my bedroom window, like, like Rosie sees the ducks. <laughs> Have you finished your craning, Jelly? Uh, yes. Hmm. Oh, but you, you haven't drawn anything. Oh, wait and see, Jackson. Oh, all right, then. <laughs> right, now for the paint. Blue, I think. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use the black. Oh. <laughs> paint it all over. <laughs> Look, Jelly, my fish is swimming in the sea. <laughs> What's yours like? Twinkly stars, <gasps> yes. Oh. I would like to see stars out of my window. Oh, that's very mm. clever, Jelly. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't think you'd drawn anything. <laughs> Shall we put my picture in the story machine? <gasps> oh, yes, and make a story. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Jelly. <laughs> in it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready to join in? Imagine. Imagine, imagine a story. <laughs> oh, it's a Kevin the Spaceman story. <laughs> and it's called Planet Puff. <laughs> Kevin and Spanner in space to explore, seeking out planets never heard of before. 
Kevin had noticed this planet from space. It was covered with sparkly holes called craters. <laughs> Tread carefully, warned Kevin as he stepped around a crater. <laughs> Spanner took no notice. He sniffed and ran off. He might find a juicy bone in one of these holes. As Spanner smelt one of the holes, a colourful jet of air lifted him clean up and into the sky. <laughs> Barked Spanner as he was blown onto another crater, which with another colourful puff, whoosh, blew him high into the sky again. Don't worry, called Kevin, I'm coming. As Kevin stepped over a sparkly hole, a jet of air blew right up his space shorts and lifted him straight up. Ho oh, ho ho, this is fun, giggled Kevin. Oh, Spanner, I can't reach you. He tried to catch Spanner, but the two travellers were being puffed from crater to crater. Way! <laughs> Just then, a strange-looking creature floated by. He had a black hat with a whirring propeller and carried a knapsack over his shoulder. Hello, said the alien. Welcome to Planet Puff. Hello, giggled Kevin, who was being held up by a pink puff of air. This is fun, but how do we get down? Oh, this always happens to visitors, said the alien. But don't worry, I know what to do. Spanner barked. He was desperate to get down. The alien took a plug out of his bag and placed it in the hole under Kevin with a plop. Kevin floated safely to the ground. <laughs> we have to plug up all the holes, said the alien, and gave Kevin some plugs. Kevin and the alien ran around the planet, plugging up all the craters. There we go. This fits nicely. I'm coming, Spanner! Oh, 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 oh. And soon the last one was plugged and stopped puffing. <laughs> Spanner barked, relieved as he floated down and ran around. He'd forgotten all about bones. Thank you, said Kevin. What a strange planet. Ha ha ha, not at all. Glad to be of a sister, said the creature, and he floated away. Come again. We will, said Kevin. Spanner wasn't sure. in the air. Yes, uh, that's three uh, things that float. The stick, the boat, and spanner. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. you're right. Mm. Oh, but right now I've got a bit of a sinking feeling too. Ah. Look. Mm. Oh, but can't we play some more games? Uh, no, the children will be here soon. Oh, yes. Come on. Mm. That's right, my little treasures. Dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, goodbye for now. Stories are fun. Come back and see us soon. Story goodbye, story maker. Thanks for helping. Story